Now, the first thing is that if I, if I deny I have any emotion at all of anger or rage within me, when I do have anger and rage in me, then at that point I am projecting the most to my outside environment. Right? And you can experiment this with your children if you want to. The instant you deny your emotion with your, any of your children, they will express your emotion to its full intensity. Right? The reason why is because when I'm in full denial of an emotion, I am projecting that emotion to the world at large at its fullest intensity. Let's say I go through the second step, and that is I come to have an intellectual realisation that I have a certain emotion. At that point, I am now projecting the emotion at a lesser intensity than I was when I was in full denial. I'm still projecting the emotion because the emotion is still within me. It's still something that's within me. So I'm still projecting the emotion. But it's at a lesser intensity than it was when I was in full denial. If I openly verbalise the emotion, I'm now even expressing it in a lesser intensity than it was before. So there's now a less strong emotion coming from me. So I can be saying, so here I might be saying, let's say I have an emotion that I want to kill my father for what he did to me. And I'm in total denial of it. That's when I'm projecting that emotion at its full intensity. Let's say I have a fleeting inspiration. Oh, I want to kill my father. An intellectual realisation. At that moment, I'm now producing less feelings going out of me that I want to kill my father. If I actually say, you know what, I really want to kill my father, I'm now actually producing less of projection out to the universe again. But then I need to start going through the next level of things, and that is the soul-based realisations. These are all, remember soul is always feeling, feeling-based realizations because when I have a realization that I want to kill my father at a feeling level I am going to be gutted by it can you see that like I'm just going wow I never knew you know you have some really strong emotional feelings about and sometimes you may even have feelings of shame or guilt associated with these feelings of wow wow you know how bad is this you know what I mean that kind of feeling you have of, I never saw this in me before, and now I'm seeing it, you know? Now I'm actually projecting less again. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, once I start feeling the rage, so once I have a soul feeling of what's in there, so let's say it's anger or rage, I am now projecting it even less again while I'm feeling it. Now, I'm not saying dumping it on them, I'm saying feeling it like Ian was demonstrating yesterday. Does that make sense? Yep. I'm now feeling it even less again. When I say I'm feeling it, if you're doing it, you're this angry rage, I'm feeling less from you because there's less coming projected at the universe around you when you're owning more of it. Now, there's many more, many more levels I've got to go through here. If it's rage, then I've got to have a feeling about what the rage is about. And then I'll have to have a feeling about that underlying causal emotion. And when I get down to right to the core of it, now there's nothing coming out of me and nothing that can damage anyone around me. So can you see that each step is like a step of opening? It's like, a, you can think of it like your soul, like a flower opening, right? Each step is like you opening. And more come, you're owning more of it, so therefore less of it is going out to the universe. And each change you make in this step is going to greatly aid everything going on around you. So, if you want to wring someone's neck and you actually physically do the sensation of wringing their neck, 
in that particular, but not actually physically ringing their neck, but you know, with a towel, ringing the neck of the towel, I want to ring their neck. You're actually in this state of feeling, the soul feeling its rage. That is far better than you doing anything above that. It's not better than you doing anything below that, because there's more you need to do. Does that make sense? You need to get to the point that's deeper and deeper and deeper. But how do you get to that point if you don't allow yourself to go through it? And this is one of the things that uh, a lot of the New Age teachings and a lot of the moral teachings of the Natural Love Path teach you to detune from this process of sinking through it. And they teach you to try and do it all in an intellectual level, which actually doesn't reduce the emotion coming from the person. So quite often I meet people that, I've, that say they've been doing you know, New Age type things or they've been spiritual people for 30 years and I'm feeling this intense rage coming from them. You know, I, 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 there was someone I met recently who does uh, grief therapy and there's this intense anger with his father like that is coming from him, you know? Like, I don't know how, how people around him respond to their grief when he's got this intense rage going towards men, you know? But he is totally unaware of it, totally unaware totally unaware that the emotion even exists within himself, doesn't want to even acknowledge it. So he's in this place, and that's when everyone around him is getting the full burst of it. If he was in this place, at least they'd be getting less of it. But the problem is there's so much judgment about this place, the soul feeling and a rageful emotion. There's a lot and so much judgment. There's so much hurt about feeling the emotion. There's so much feelings in people about that it's bad, it's wrong, it's sinful. And yet, it's the way or the gateway into, the, or the guide, if you like, into even the deeper parts. Now, what I'm suggesting is we need to get into the deeper parts. You can't just stop there. So don't stop in your anger. You need to get below your anger. But you're not going to get below your anger while you're denying your anger. Just like you're not going to get, you know, you're not going to get to the soul realization while you're wanting to not talk about it. And you're not going to get to the um, talking about it while you're intellectually denying it. Do you know what I mean? So allow yourself to sink through these places and allow yourself to become aware. Talk freely about those things.